Anyone who knows, knows that oysters are now all the rage. And there's one place in Phoenix that is getting hugely popular because of it. And every afternoon, people are flooding into the place that some say has the best oysters in the valley. And it was excellent. Their happy hours is spectacular. Yeah, the oysters here are always fresh. So good. <laughs> and that place is Buck and Ryder. And Jarrett Porter, Buck and Ryder's GM, filled us in on their menu that is getting hugely popular as well. Okay, tell me about your menu a little bit. So the menu here at Buck and Ryder is seafood centric. That's what we base all of what we're doing on here at the restaurant. Um, oysters, crab, lobster from Boston, um, fish from all over the world, um, shrimp from Baja, California. So we have a ton of variety and it's all all seafood centric, all right. seafood based. Because right, we're in Arizona, so it's gonna be kind of like not us going out and catching the fish fresh. It's always the major question, right? Yeah. yeah, everybody everybody wonders how can we get so much fresh seafood here in the valley? And we have great accessibility through the airport. And so everything's direct shipped, everything's delivered here daily. Um, that's lobsters delivered here daily from Boston, oysters delivered from both coasts, west and east, and including New Zealand. And the accessibility from the airport to us really provides us with a captive audience to be able to grab great product from all over the world and get it here next day. All right, you guys are known for your oysters. Tell me a little bit about oyster because, I mean, I just know about this kind of like the uh, escargot. Is that like oysters? Not quite. All right, so Not quite. again, see, that's snails, the Snails and oysters, two different <laughs> worlds. Oysters are one of, the, one of the most dynamic pieces of food you could possibly eat. They have a great variety of flavor, depth, um, salt content and they're super simple. It's a shuck and a bite and it's it's just it's a really really impactful bite. All right so now we got that down pat but I want to see how this is made. Where should I go? Erica our chef is going to be the one to show you how to get that done. Let's go. Okay Erica I've never been this close behind a unshuck oyster. So this is pretty cool. How does this all work? So we get the product every day delivered to the airport. We bring it over here and we build this display. We want to keep it as fresh as possible so we cover everything with raw ice. And it's pretty simple, really. All we got to do is grab an oyster, you pick whatever you want. We have six every single day. We shuck it and we give it to you. Right. That's it. You got to show me how to shuck because I've always gotten nervous about shucking an oyster. But the good thing about it here, you guys do it for people, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. We got you. All right, show me the secret of, of shucking. Okay, so first of all, you want to feel pretty comfortable with what you're doing, okay? So, right hand, I'm a righty, so I'll do okay. this. So you go in here, in this little prick right here, you press, and it shouldn't be more than three movements. You know, you don't want to mess too much with it. It's a simple product, it's a simple execution. So, you just go, put a little pressure, and that's it. And that's it right there? That's it. And it's all done? Super simple. And there now, what you want to do is make sure that there's no shells and the attached to the actual oyster. So you do a little flip, and that's, and that's it. it. Okay, I'm throwing on some gloves here because I want to try this myself. All right. All right, so here you we go. You have life insurance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you make me nervous already. No, Look you're good, you're good. Get the glove on. All right, so then, I, in right. particular here. oyster. All right, go over here, and what should I do? Uh, let's one? try Pick this one. one. Let's try because the pink ones. Because you said the smaller ones, right? Are yeah, better? the smaller ones right. are easier to shock so, because of their shell. All right, take it's this. not a stock. In so, there. first of all, you want to protect yourself. So, okay. you want, there you go. All right. Like that. And then, and then just go in there. Uh -huh. In there, like that. Put, put a little bit of pressure and crack. That there good? you go. Oh, man. Let's go eat. Okay. Right. I don't better. think this is for you, buddy. Let's go eat. <laughs> This all looks good. She showed me how to shuck. I didn't yep. do too good at it. It's all right. You all still right. got all your, all your fingers, so that's but, important. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Now, there's a secret to eating. Well, the beauty about an oyster is their purity and their simplicity in of themselves. They all have their own flavor content, right, and their own salt content. I'm a purist. I like just a little squeeze of lemon on my oysters. Um, just gives them a little bit of acid just to kind of cut some of the salty content of the ocean water and then straight back in. So first timer here, you say... First timer in. Put a little lemon on there. A little lemon. Just All a little right. squeeze of lemon. Lemon. And then do what? Straight back in. Just straight in? Straight back. <laughs> okay. That one got me too. Right? All right. That's me. All right. 
So now, what about the sauces? So we have a variety of sauces that you can add to it that add acid, that add a little bit of fat, that add a little bit of um, spice. Um, a lot of traditional oyster eaters will put a little dash cocktail sauce on it, which we make in house. Um, it's got a nice amount of horseradish to it, gives a little spice and a little bit of tomato to it, gives it a, a little bit of uh, dynamic flavor. Okay, and straight is, in, same way. Is that supposed to be in there? All that juice in there is good. That's all ocean water. All right. Ooh, that was that's good. That's that good was one. good. That was much better. Right, so and very good. And they all have a different flavor profile, so you pick and choose ones um, that you may like. They have a little salt or less salt, and make your decision off of that. I like it. I'll tell you, very delicious oysters. All right, now you got something else going on yep. August 3rd. Saturday, August 3rd is our Oyster Day event. Um, it's a huge event for us. We're bringing in 10,000 oysters from both coasts. Um, we have live music uh, all day long. We have half price on the, all the oysters from when we open at 10 until we close at 11. And half, uh, happy hour pricing on all of our food and drinks as well all day. So it's gonna be a huge party and a good time. I love it. All right, there you go. If you love oysters, Buck and Ryder.